this is the new CEA 440 AJE economy model it just has the uh, circuit board glued to the uh, carriage newer models will have uh, a waterproof cover for it but this one's the economy model let's show you how to program it okay when you first uh, hook up the red and green wire it's going to be showing you the battery voltage and these are the two programming buttons right here and just watch real carefully what I do you press this one first and this first screen is going to be your high voltage setting so this number here is okay press it again we'll go to the second number and this revolves in a circle so it goes from 1 to 9 and back so we're gonna stop at 14 volts because we want that to be our high setting 14.2 if you'd like okay when we press this again it's gonna rotate to the second screen which is the low voltage setting so this is how low the battery will get before the dump turns back off so we've got this set at 12.5 gonna press it again to go to the second number press it again and we're gonna change this to 12.9 when we press again we go to the third screen which is uh, not used so we're just gonna go back and this shows you the voltage again so again the first press shows you the high voltage and we'll just rotate through this the second screen is the low voltage. I'm going to change this to uh, 13.4. When you press it again, it'll go through this screen, which we don't use. And on the fourth press, it's back to reading the voltage. Okay, I'll do it one more time. One press. goes through the first menu you can change any flashing number by pressing this the second menu is the low voltage setting we'll just cut through this this setting we don't use it's uh, for accuracy if you press this it'll go through screens and say minus it's a tolerance setting we're just going to keep it on zero 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 and press again you're back to voltage this will also come with an instruction sheet but the video is probably easier all right that's how easy programming this is we're hooking this up to a rheostat so we can change the voltage and uh, let's show you how this works. We're going to turn the voltage up and the relay turns on with the green light. That's how it works. What What's real nice about this type of controller is that it has a solenoid. So you can use this for solar panels and wind. But a controller made for just solar will not work on wind turbines because you get these very high voltage surges where this can see 50 or 100 volts and that'll destroy most solid state controllers so this will take high voltage surges from wind turbines uh, so it's real important you get this type of controller if you're going to mix wind and solar together because this will do both it'll do wind and solar 
but a solar only controller can't do wind. It's real important. Also if you buy a grid tie for a wind turbine it must be the kind with a built-in dump load or it'll blow up. It blew the grid tie out. Wow, that's amazing that I got that on video. So, there you go. High voltage surges during windstorms have blown up a lot of grid ties. If they have a dump load built in, that's a different story. It'll protect. Alright, hope this video has been educational for you.